Number 42, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assigned. So in this case, we have to do increasing acidity and then they give us four compounds, HF, H2O, NH3, and CH4. Cool. So the first thing is, is we have to figure out what types of acids these are. But for every one of them, it seems like I have a hydrogen, doesn't matter whether it's in the front or the back, but then we have some other element. We only have two elements in our compound, and two is bi, so it's a binary acid. So I have hydrogen and fluorine, two elements. Hydrogen and oxygen, two elements. Nitrogen and hydrogen, two elements, and carbon and hydrogen. And they all have that hydrogen. It doesn't matter if it's in the front or the back. Now, we could list them in terms of our binary acid trend, right? We want it from increasing acidity, which means that we want the least acidic on the left side, and we want the most acidic. Maybe let me make that a little bit better. Most acidic on the right side. And now let's see. When you're looking at your trend on the periodic table, don't look at the hydrogens. The, on the only elements that you care about are the ones that are not hydrogen. So fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. So let's see. Fluorine would be right around here. And if fluorine's there, oxygen is right next door. Nitrogen is right next door to oxygen and then carbon. So it's like knaf. <laughs> but for binary acids, your acidity increases as you go from left to right. So the carbon one would be the least acidic and the hydrogen would be the most acidic because you're increasing as you go this way. So most acidic would be the fluorine one. So that's HF. So that one checks off. Least acidic is the carbon. So that's CH4. And as you go from left to right, you're increasing. So oxygen would be more acidic than nitrogen if it's in a binary acid. So we got NH3 next and H2O. And then we just got to put in our greater than or less than. But since it's going from least to most, we're doing less than CH4 is less than NH3, which is less than H2O, which is less than HF. And that is your answer. Now, they just say explain the reasoning. You could talk about the trend, but the basic reasoning behind it is electronegativity. As you go from left to right, you also increase in electronegativity. That means that these elements that we were just talking about, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, if they have it easier to become negative, so C, N, O, and F, since fluorine is the most electronegative, right? That means that it would be easiest to become a negative. And how you become a negative is you lose a hydrogen. So it would be much easier for fluorine to lose a hydrogen because it's it's just easier for him to, or her, or, you know, just fluorine in general. It's it's easier for fluorine to become a negative charge. As opposed to carbon, who doesn't really want to be a negative, they wouldn't really necessarily want to give up any of those four hydrogens. So... We could just say that, you know, increasing electronegativity, increasing electronegativity from left to right will also increase acidity. And there you go. Increases acidity. And remember, this is for binary acids. So that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys all a great day. Let's keep studying hard and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.